Welcome to our channel, where we delve into the ancient Israelites, also known as Hebrews or Jews, who can be argued as the most prominent figures in the sacred scriptures of the Bible. Many people are familiar with their language, culture, and the ancestral Judaism of the prophets, priests, and other characters in the Old Testament. However, only a few possess knowledge regarding the genetic origins of the ancient Israelites. In this video, our goal is to present various studies on ancient Jewish genomes to provide a broader understanding of Jewish groups that closely relate to the ancient Israelites. The mystery of ancient Israelite DNA is an integral part of population genetics, investigating the chronology of Jewish migrations. These studies are accompanied by research in fields such as history, linguistics, archaeology, and paleontology. The aim is to comprehend the origins of different Jewish ethnic divisions and determine if there is a common genetic heritage among them, essentially exploring the genetic legacy of Abraham. Studies on Jewish populations have primarily utilized three types of genealogical DNA tests, autosomal DNA, mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, and the Y chromosome, Y-DNA. Autosomal DNA tests analyze the overall mixture of DNA, revealing that Jewish populations tend to form genetically isolated and relatively related groups within independent communities. Many of these communities share significant ancestors with Ashkenazi Jews, forming a distinct group. On the other hand, mtDNA and Y-DNA tests examine maternal and paternal ancestry respectively by analyzing two small groups of genes transmitted exclusively through female or male ancestors. Research on the genetic composition of Ashkenazi, Sephardic, and Mizrahi Jewish communities in the Jewish diaspora demonstrates a significant presence of shared ancestry from the Middle East. Let's briefly explore each of these communities, beginning with the Ashkenazi. This group is one of the largest subdivisions of Judaism, with roots in Central and Eastern Europe, including countries such as Germany, Poland, Russia, and neighboring regions. Throughout history, they have developed their own liturgical traditions, customs, and dialects of the Hebrew language. Ashkenazi communities have had a profound influence on European culture and have made substantial contributions to fields such as literature, philosophy, and science. Moving on, we have the Sephardic communities, whose origins trace back to the Iberian Peninsula, encompassing Spain and Portugal, as well as regions in North Africa and the Middle East. The term Sephardic is derived from the Hebrew word for Spain. In the 15th century, many Sephardic Jews were expelled from Spain during the Spanish Inquisition, leading to their dispersal across the world and the establishment of communities in countries like Morocco, Turkey, Greece, and Egypt, among others. These Sephardic communities maintain distinct cultural, liturgical, and culinary traditions that reflect their geographic and historical origins. Additionally, there are the Mizrahi Jews, referring to Jewish communities originating from the Middle East and North Africa, with a history dating back thousands of years. These communities have roots in countries such as Iraq, Iran, Egypt, Syria, and Lebanon. They preserve their own religious, cultural, and linguistic traditions often differing from Ashkenazi and Sephardic communities. While they share the Jewish faith, Mizrahi communities have a unique history and experience shaped by interactions with local cultures and societies over centuries. These three subdivisions represent only a fraction of Jewish history and culture, showcasing the diversity and resilience of the Jewish people across time and the globe. Several Jewish groups exhibit a striking genetic proximity to populations in the current-day regions of Lebanon, Palestine, Bedouins, Druze, Arabs, Jordanians, Syrians, and Mesopotamia. Moreover, Jews residing in Europe, including Italy, Germany, Poland, Ukraine, and Russia, often display genetic overlaps with the historical non-Jewish population along maternal lines. This suggests some level of intermingling with specific European populations, particularly among Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews originating from Southern and other European regions. Researchers have even observed connections between Ashkenazi Jews and certain European populations due to interbreeding that occurred in the distant past. 
Genetic studies indicate that Bani Israel Jews, Jews from Cochin in India, and Beta Israel from Ethiopia, while sharing similarities with local populations, also exhibit traces of Jewish ancestry or other Semitic populations. This is similarly observed among Ethiopian Jews. Furthermore, there are various Jewish groups with diverse ancestries, each reflecting different levels of significance as revealed through genetic studies of ancient Israelite DNA. Among these groups, the Jews of Ethiopia, also known as Beta Israel or Falasha, possess a unique and captivating history. They are considered descendants of the lost tribes of Israel, specifically the tribes of Dan and Manasseh. It is believed that they migrated to Ethiopia thousands of years ago, potentially during the reign of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. For centuries, the Beta Israel lived in relative isolation in Ethiopia, maintaining distinct religious and cultural practices. Their form of Judaism incorporated elements of the Old Testament, while also differing from mainstream Jewish traditions. In addition to the Jews of Ethiopia, there are the ancient Samaritans, who have persisted to this day and share a significant portion of their genetic heritage with the ancient Israelites. Palestinians, too, inherit a part of this DNA due to the ancient Jewish presence in the region where they currently reside. According to a 2017 study published in Frontiers in Genetics, principal component analyses indicate a genetic affinity between ancient Levantines and contemporary Palestinians, including the Bedouins of the Levant region. Moreover, a 2017 study in the American Journal of Human Genetics suggests a predominant Levantine ancestry among Palestinians, with an overlap between the Bronze Age and the current Levantine population, indicating genetic continuity in the region. A more recent study in 2020 revealed significant genetic continuity between the human remains of Palestinian and Israelite populations from the Bronze Age, suggesting a genetic linkage between various Arabic-speaking groups in the region. Palestinians, along with Druze, Lebanese, Jordanians, Bedouins, Syrians, and various Jewish groups such as Ashkenazi Jews, Mizrahi Jews, Iranians, and Moroccans, have been subjects of ancestry studies. It has been found that Palestinians, among other Levantines, derive approximately 81% of their ancestry from ancient Levantines of the Bronze Age, who are related to the ancient Israelites and several other Semitic tribes that inhabited the region, including the Canaanites themselves. Regarding Ashkenazi Jews, genetic studies have revealed that in addition to ancient Israelite Semitic DNA, they also have an average of 42% to 60% of European ancestry derived from Germanic, Italian, and Slavic peoples. When analyzing ancient Semitic Israelite genetics in current Jewish groups, Ashkenazi Jews are shown to have between 20% to 28% of their genetics derived from ancient Israelites, with some reaching up to 39%. Yes, Ashkenazi Jews have 20% to 28%, reaching a maximum of 39% of ancient Israelite genetics in their DNA. The majority of their ancestry, about 58% to 60%, is of European origin resulting from mixtures during the diasporas with Europeans. In contrast, Sephardic Jews show a slightly higher percentage of ancient Israelite origin in their genetics compared to Ashkenazi Jews. However, approximately half of their genetic composition is similar to that of Ashkenazi Jews with European influence. As for Mizrahi Jews, who remained in the Middle East and did not mix with European peoples, they have a significant percentage of their genetics exceeding 63% derived from ancient Israelites. Among Jewish groups, Mizrahi Jews are the closest genetically to the ancient Israelites. Many people wonder which current Jewish group is most similar, both genetically and historically, to the ancient Jews of the Bible. The answer is clear, Mizrahi Jews. Although Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews are also descendants of the ancient Jews, their genetic affinity is lower compared to Mizrahi Jews. We hope you have enjoyed this video and have gained a deeper understanding of the genetics of the ancient Israelites and the Jewish groups most closely related to them today. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and share it with others who share an interest in the genetics of the ancient Israelites.
May God bless you, and we'll see you soon.